The best free piece of software that you can use to capture and edit your audio is something called Audacity. It works on Windows, Mac and Linux systems. You can use it to record and edit your podcasts relatively easily. For example, it can improve the sound quality of your shows, remove background noise and generally clean up your audio. So let's get started by grabbing Audacity over at audacityteam.org. Once open, Check that the microphone selected is the one you want to use. For instance, you might have a built-in mic in your computer, an external mic, or an audio input from a mixer or broadcasting desk. At first, you might sound a bit too loud or quiet, so it's best to check that the microphone volume levels are set correctly. Click the mic icon at the top bar. It should start moving forwards and backwards when you talk. Adjust your computer settings to get the volume level at around 8 when you're talking. Then, when you're ready to get started, simply click the red recording button. You can see from the waveform that our audio is now being captured. It gives us an indication on our volume level and how long we've been recording. Once you're happy with what you've got, you can finish by simply stopping the audio. And now that we've done that, we can sample the playback to check that it's okay. It should be fine, but you may need some post-production editing to fix any abnormal noises like dips or hissing. So let's look at a few effects that you can use to clean up your audio. In your waveform, there will be peaks and dips, which are the little spikes throughout your audio. Ideally, these shouldn't be too high as they can get clipped and distort your audio. You should be aiming for somewhere in the middle at about minus eight to get a consistent sound. Next, let's look at using Amplify, which can be found in the Effects area. Adjust the decibels and preview your audio. Keep doing this until your audio sounds right. Then, apply the changes. Your waveform should now be modified and you will be able to notice the difference in the peaks and the dips. You can also use the Normalize effect to do something similar. It brings the gain of the entire track to its maximum without clipping the audio, essentially putting it on one level so it's more consistent. Now, you may also have dead air in your waveform. We can fix this using the truncate silence feature. This feature removes any dead air from your waveform from when you're not speaking, and it will give your podcast a much smoother flow. Adjust the detection level. Anything below this decibel will be deleted. The duration is what is considered dead air. So you can set this for a few seconds, for example. Set truncate to the duration you want and the silence will be removed. If you want all dead air gone, then set it to zero. When done, check the audio sounds right. If not, then go back and adjust the settings a little until you have the right balance to drop your dead air. Microphones often pick up background noises, but luckily, these can be removed. Select a small section of background noise, and then go to Noise Reduction. Adjust how much noise you want filtered out. Preview the audio if it's not quite right, then adjust the noise reduction and sensitivity, and try again until it's correct. When you're happy with how your podcast sounds, then it's time to export your recording. Go to File and then hit Export Audio. Add your file name, choose your MP3 file type and then click Save. Next, we want to add our metadata. This is your podcast details like artist, year and even description. Then hit OK. In order to export your podcast as an MP3 file, Audacity needs a decoder known as LAME. You can find a link to LAME for Windows and Mac in the description below. And finally, confirm by exporting your show.